Thanks. Thanks. Mark, Judge Judy looks. Thank oh, you. always gorgeous. Yeah. Gorgeous at JJ's wedding, your daughter's yes, wedding. Yes, yes. You turned a lot of heads that night. In a very sexy dress, I might add. You know what happens when you get older? Your eyesight sort of goes. It's sort of like wearing the Emperor's New Clothes. You don't see it until you look at it at the pictures later, and you say, "What was I thinking?" No, yeah. no you looked great. But it was—it it was, was a wonderful number. It was a—you see how you remembered? I do remember. It was gorgeous. See how you remember? I remember it turned Donald Trump's head. He said, "All right." Oh yes, he do you turned remember? away from Melania and no. looked directly at me and said, "How stunning she is!" I give you a hundred bucks if you wear that in the courtroom one day in the TV show. Can you up that a little bit? <laughs> You know, uh, grew up in Brooklyn and I think worked 26 years as a prosecutor? I worked in the family court for 10 years. For 10 years. Mm -hmm. As a prosecutor and mm -hmm. then for the next 15 as a judge yeah. in the family court oh in New gosh, York. Oh my gosh, yeah. And then, and then suddenly this opportunity developed and you jumped in here. Now the people who see you, that's the sentence you give, the sentence you give them is what they, was what they live with. Well, I am the arbitrator of each case that I see and right. people signed a, sign a binding arbitration because mm -hmm. I do my work in California mm -hmm. where I was not a judge and right. I'm not a judge. So they signed a binding arbitration. They agreed to dismiss their case in the lower courts and mm -hmm. agreed to abide by my decision. It's really a wonderful, it's a wonderful opportunity, not only for me, but I think it's a great opportunity for the people out there to see a little bit of human nature, mm -hmm. sure. to try to identify with the problems that they see and maybe look at it and say, you know what? It's not worth it, what's mm. going on in my life. I'm mm. going to sort of say, put a period and move on with my problem. Because sure. the people that appear in my court have little problems as opposed to the family court where they had big, big problems. problems. Yeah. Right. But they've allowed these little problems to really interfere with enjoying life. Exactly. And as we all know, life is short. Doesn't yes. it surprise you how many women give their unemployed boyfriends the use of their credit card over and over and over? And over? <laughs> well, you know, I... I think that has to, a lot to do with the feeling that some women have, unfortunately many women have, that you have to have a man in your life in order to be complete. Right. And you have a daughter, mm -hmm. and what you're going to teach your daughter is you have to be a whole person. And That's a right. man is going to compliment, a mate is going to compliment that. Yes. But, you know, there are people that never find that wonderful soulmate in their lives. And if you're going to say, well, if you're alone, then you're never going to be happy, that's ridiculous. So you have to make, as a woman, men do it. Men seem to have that uncanny ability to say, I'm going to be happy whether I'm mated, whether I'm not mated. Story of my life. The story of your life. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I was happy before, I'll be happy again. <laughs> Oh, Judy, we'll be right back. I must say, I, I get very nervous. I get very nervous when you get angry, you know? As long as you're not standing in front of me, you have nothing to fear. But now, wait a minute. Does that, uh, uh, does that interfere with your sense of justice for that person if she personally or he personally angers you in some way? Well, it's pretty stupid for you to come into court and irritate the person who's going to be making oh, a decision. So it does. No, so but it she does. makes fair decisions. Be, but it's it's right. You're supposed to do the right thing. Listen, people, judges sentence murderers and robbers mm -hmm. and pedophiles. You know, yeah. and right. you would like to be able to say, hmm, "Give me the needle so that I can deal with them." Right. But you don't right. do that. Sure. Right. You don't right. do right. that. Right. You know, Although I watch it, I watch your show so much, though, that I actually would res at home. I would recite. I'm speaking, put on your listening ears, because I watch one. it that much. I know what you're, I know what's coming. In fact, she said that to me a couple of times. <laughs> <laughs> Judy, I got a little something to tell you. Oh. You know, uh, you are on the Regis and, and Kelly show, but, but right now we are going to start a new program called Judge Judy, This Is Your Life! Oh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Gelman said, this, this will lock her out. She'll probably run away. She, she, will. <laughs> she sat there and she said, come on, let's do it. Yeah. Okay, let's You're see. not going to scare Judge Judy. I was just kidding. Let's oh, go. Right. No, 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 no. I was just kidding this about this is, is so your great. life. But this is, this is our show. Here's Judy on a little horse oh, growing so up cute. in Brooklyn. Oh. And here's her husband, Jerry. They, yeah. they still have 
that horse. That horse goes from burrow to burrow. <laughs> that and for a buck, everybody gets to take a... You have one of those someplace. Oh, no, really? it's true. My dad My dad has a picture of my dad in Camden, New Jersey on that same, same horse. horse. <laughs> Here's Judge Judy and Judge Jerry, first appointed judges. Look at them, man. 24 couple. years ago. 24 years, years ago. Look at that afro. Look at all your collective hair. Yeah. <laughs> what have we got here, Judy? What I can't see it. What is this? Oh, this is your family. This, this is, the is a family group. less three grandchildren. This was taken two years ago, and we are missing three grandchildren because they weren't born yet. Right. All right. We're doing another one Thanksgiving because yeah. my family, they have nothing better to do with their time. They just keep <laughs> making these pictures obsolete. <laughs> so we have three new grandchildren we have to add. Uh, all the children, their mates, grandchildren. I was at Judge Judy's Thanksgiving dinner last year. Yes. You can't believe it, boy. It's, I hear it's quite a thing. Oh, my God. How many people all told? Uh, we have about 70. 70 music. people it's for dinner. It's for dinner, yeah. Wow, I don't cook either. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the club. Yeah. You can, as long as you can do other things. I've just mm. been taking food from here all week long and putting it in the trunk of the car. Same food? Saving it up. Congratulations on your star on Hollywood Boulevard. Thank you. Right there. You have one. You have one. Are company. your stars near each other? <laughs> I don't know. Where is yours going to be? Well, I just got a call last night, and my executive producer said, listen, we're going to try to get you a star next to Sidney Poitier. Oh. Now, that would be a, a heart oh. stopper for me. Sure. So if you're out there in whoever makes that decision, next to Sidney Poitier would be my first choice. <laughs> there you go. Don't forget, Judge Judy, weekend. Check your local listings. Thank you. Have a, have a